Last week, several newspapers reported that scientists have spotted an extraterrestrial signal that could be a sign of intelligent life. Yes, I know what you're thinking. It's probably not aliens. But I don't want to dismiss such claims just because they've always been wrong in the past. I'm pretty convinced there is intelligent life somewhere else in our galaxy and one day will be the day. So what do we know about the new rumour? It comes from Simon Holland, a YouTuber and filmmaker. As he explains in a clip that you can watch yourself, he was tipped off, he says, by someone involved with the Breakthrough Listen project that searches for alien civilizations. The UK Mirror then picked it up. From there, it spread to other news outlets and to X Twitter. Holland says that the object in question is called Beards one. The Breakthrough Listen initiative of the SETI Research Center looks for alien signals with radio telescopes. It's a $100 million project financed by billionaire Yuri Milner's Breakthrough Initiative. It's the largest ever project to search for signs of intelligent life beyond Earth by scanning a big part of the sky. In these scans, they look for unusual observations known as technosignatures. In contrast to biosignatures that look for life in general, usually in the form of molecular traces, technosignatures are signs that someone or something is sending information. These searches typically focus on narrow electromagnetic signals, which means the signal is peaked around a particular frequency. This is because natural sources tend to instead span broad parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. The object in question, BLC-1, is a radio signal that was first detected in April 2019. I know BLC-1 sounds more like a vacuum cleaner than an alien civilization, but it stands for Breakthrough Listen Candidate 1. It appeared in an observation of Proxima Centauri, the closest star system to our own. This signal sparked interest because it was incredibly narrow, just a few hertz wide. It also had a slight frequency drift, suggesting it might be coming from a moving source. However, a follow-up study then found that the signal was not an extraterrestrial techno signature, but rather an electronically drifting intermodular product of local time-varying interferers aligned with the observing cadence. That's a complicated way of saying that it seems someone nearby used a mobile device while the data were recorded. The breakthrough listen people then came up with a more sophisticated data analysis that should automatically reject mm -hmm. such foreground signals. We talked about this in an earlier Science News episode. So if the signal is back, that it may there was more to it after all. It seems rather unlikely to me they'd make the same mistake twice. Then again, it's not like life on Earth is that renowned for its intelligence. Simon Hollands in his YouTube clip just repeats the same properties of the signal that we already knew. So either he is missing something or I am missing something. Any such claim should of course be regarded with a lot of skepticism, but I think it's worth asking what we would accept as convincing evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence, at least in principle. Do we wait until they ask to see our leader? Well, there are a couple of other signs that alien searchers are looking for. For example, not only do you want the signal to be narrow band, you ideally want it to have a pattern, like a discernible structure or a code sequence. You know, something more complex than your microwave leaking radiation as you warm up the tea. Astrophysicists have also been looking for signs of megastructures designed to directly harness the energy of stars called Dyson spheres, which advanced civilizations might build. The megastructures would cause unusually dim stars, but it's a signal that on its own can also be caused by dust clouds. However, if such an observation came together with an already suspicious radio signal, that would certainly be very intriguing. 
The most convincing evidence, though, short of actually having aliens at the front door, would be probes that we find on our own planet or in our solar system. This is what Avi Loeb is after with his claims that Oumuamua was an alien spaceship or that alien probes have plunged into the oceans. I really, really try to be open-minded about this stuff, but it strikes me as incredibly unlikely that an alien species would be just about at the same level level of technology as we are. Most likely, they're either so far behind there's nothing to see, or so far ahead we don't know how to see it. So that's in a nutshell why I'm not excited about it. But then you never know, so let's wait and see if they have found something. Or maybe the aliens are already among us. Make sure to check the comments. To me, science is more than a profession. It's a way to understand the world and to solve problems. This is why I'm happy to work together with Brilliant, whose mission is to help you learn science in the easiest and most engaging way possible. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. I found it to be very effective to learn something new. It really gives you a feeling for what's going on and helps you build general problem-solving skills. They cover a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses on differential equations or large language models. And they're adding new courses each month. It's a fast and easy way to learn and you can do it whenever and wherever you have the time. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with their course on quantum computing or differential equations. And of course, I have a special offer for users of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabina, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days. And you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.